Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. So apologies for all the background noise if you can hear it. I've got the washing machine going in the corner of the room I'm in. I've got my dad hoovering in the rest of the house. So there's a bit going on today because everybody's at home. But I am in desperate need of getting lots of videos filmed today and over the next week. Because in less than two weeks I go on holiday for 10 days. And I need to get enough videos up for those 10 days and obviously for the time before I go. So I'm just getting straight into it. I've had this foil in my foil folder for quite a while now. You would have seen this in one of the I think it was in one of the Sparkle Surprise UK VIP boxes so you would have seen it then when I did the like opening of that um but yeah I've just been dying to use it ever since let me just open it up so you can see look how beautiful this is so I'm going to be using this today and I'm going to use it over white so it stands out nice and like mouth well, just is really obvious sort of thing and then around it I'm going to be using pink petals which is this really pretty pink colour so that's everything we're going to be using so first things first I'm just going to cut off some of the foil so I can just have that next to me and ready to go and then I can get rid of everything else that I don't need so my desk doesn't stress me out too much um, and then we're going to get straight into it. So I'm doing just two nails again in this video. And um, like I said, I've got a lot of videos to film. Um, as far as I'm aware, like a couple of you have mentioned that you don't mind me doing like two or three nails in a video now. Um, and to be fair, I will go back to the whole like doing... Um, how many was I doing? Like doing five as normal like I used to before. But like I said, going on holiday soon. I've got lots to film, lots to edit, lots to upload. So I basically just need to get done what I can sort of thing. And I'd rather do something like a little bit than nothing. So we're going to be using this. And I'm going to do it in two different ways on these two nails. Just so you're not watching me literally do the same thing twice. So I'm just going to get my palette. I've got a lint-free wipe. And then I'm just going to get some acetone. I'm just going to use that to just clean off my, um, what's it called, palette. So I'm just going to make sure that's nice and clean before I put any uh, gel on it at all. And then once I've done that, I can pop them on. So I need white and my pink on here. So I'm going to be applying it with a nail art brush as opposed to the brush in the bottle. So once I've done that, I'm going to just pop that out of the way. And then I'm going to be using the Erin's Favourite brush from Erin's Collection. As always, you're probably sick of hearing me mention these brushes now. But they really are fab. So first things first, for this nail, I'm going to be doing the foil down the middle. So I'm going to do white just down the middle. And I'm going to leave a little bit of gap either side for me to put some of the pink. But basically, everywhere that I put the white polish is where my foil is going to go sort of thing. So... That is the idea. Wherever there's white, there will be foil. So I'm just popping that down there and then I'm just going to fill the middle bit in. I'm going to do it off camera because I'm going to do it... Um, I don't know why I was going to say... I was literally just about to say I'm going to do it off camera because I'm going to do it off camera, which just makes no sense, but just one second. Okay, so that's that nail. I'm going to pop this in the lamp for a full cure. And then on this one, we're going to do the total opposite. So I'm going to do my two lines again, either side. This time, instead of filling in the middle part, I'm going to fill in the outer area. So I want them to be thick enough again for us to be able to see the foil, but not too thick where they're going to look strange compared to the other one. So I'm just going to do it like that. And then once I'm happy, again, I'm just going to fill in those side areas and pop this in the lamp for a full cure. So that's what that looks like. I'm just going to pop that in the lamp for a full cure now. Okay, so once they're both fully cured, I'm using the Foil Me Foil Gel from Sparkle Spars UK. I say it every time I use foil, but it is actually not available at the moment. So if you've already got it, then you are so lucky. Um, obviously, if not, use whatever foil gel you've got. So once I've done the white and it's fully cured, I'm just going to wipe off any tacky layer of the white to make sure that I get my foil gel perfect. So, there we go, just get it to focus. I'm just going to get my foil gel on my brush. Actually, you know what? I'm going to get a bit more adventurous and I'm going to use the bottle brush and then just clean up the edges with my nail art brush. So, I'm just popping the foil gel over the white. First of all, just getting it on there first and then I'll go in with my brush and clean up the edges and everything get it all nice and smooth 
don't worry about getting the side walls like not side walls as a whole now but I mean like the sides of this design perfect because we will be outlining anyway so don't worry about it I'm just making sure I get that as good as I can making sure I took it right up to the top and right over the bottom and then I'm looking at it from all angles to make sure I haven't got it anywhere that I don't want it so my foil won't stick somewhere it's not meant to be and then I'm going to pop that into the lamp for a full 60 second cure and in the meantime I'm going to do this one so first things first again I'm just going to use my bottle brush first to get the majority on there and done And then we'll use my nail art brush to get it perfect. Unfortunately, white never stays properly white under a foil gel. I think it's just one of those things that the foil just has a slight yellow tinge to it. Um, I've tried probably four foil gels over the years and all of them have done the same thing. So I think it is just one of those things. I did forget to take the tacky layer off this one so just bear that in mind that if the foil doesn't stick perfectly that will probably be why I've mentioned it a few times but it's mainly just if you've got a tacky layer on your gel polish and that inhibition layer mixes with your foil gel it'll then make the foil gel application a bit more difficult because you could get some patchy areas I also got a little bit somewhere that I didn't want it so I'm just going to dip into my acetone with my brush take my brush down that line to make sure it isn't anywhere that I don't want it to be and then I'm going to pop that into the lamp while I take the other one out so I'm not going to use the foil straight because I think it would be much more jazzy to have it like different so I think I'm going to do it the total opposite of straight because usually like obviously you'd probably think to do it like that. I think I'm going to do it like diagonally um, like so. So I'm going to pop that there like that and then I'm going to just push it in the middle first just to make sure that bit is really stuck and then I'm going to go upwards like this, downwards and then to the side. That is how I do it. I'm keeping it on the like on the on my card like background I'm keeping it on the desk because I don't want to lift it up because then it's more likely for my nail to come off um come off the the stand basically so I'm just doing it the easy way to not have to mess about with that hopefully and then I'm just going to lift it up sort of in slow motion and you'll be able to see if it hasn't stuck somewhere and then you can just pop it back down and then just press it down to make sure that it has but I think that's pretty good we've got a little bit missing here to be fair it's such a small amount I don't know whether we're going to be able to, to really line that up because it is so tiny yeah we did it's all right so that's that one and then again with the other one I'm going to do it in the same sort of way but obviously this one is slightly different because it's the outer parts so I'm just going to get that actually I'm going to do it like I did that one and just apply it in the same way just to make sure that the design is similar instead of having to do one half then the other and then potentially getting it a bit wrong so again I've missed a bit there as you can already see but we'll sort that out after if possible it doesn't really help that this is the one that wasn't going to go to plan anyway because I did it wrong from the start by not um, taking the tack layer off but never mind we learn so that's that side fine and then this one just need to sort that one out which shouldn't be too difficult I'm just going to find some other part of this foil that's basically the same area and then I'm going to use that to hopefully be able to fill in any gaps that we've got yeah it didn't do a great job but it didn't do terribly so that'll do the problem is like because the clear parts of this foil are not literally like like there's nothing there they are there it's just clear if you touch those clear parts onto your foil 
you obviously can't then go back in like I am with another part of the foil and stick it on because the stickiness is gone because it's already got something stuck to it if that makes sense but that went okay to be fair so this is what they look like so far I'm now going to do the opposite sort of thing and I'm going to use my striper brush again to fill in the gaps that are not done yet with the pink so I'm going to do that now I won't show you me filling it in again as usual but just going to get the pink on my brush now and we're going to go down the middle of this nail. Again, not too worried about where the colours meet. So these lines here like don't have to be absolutely perfect in terms of like looking fab, meeting the foil and stuff like that because we are going to outline that anyway so you won't be able to see where they meet. So I'm not too bothered. And then once I've got it down on the sides and it's nice and neat I'm just going to quickly use my bottle brush to fill it in because it's much quicker than using that tiny um, detail brush I'm just going to use this to fill in that area with the colour I'm going to make sure I don't apply it too thickly so it doesn't cure and you want to make sure that you're making like a conscious effort to not get it anywhere you don't want it. Like if you got this colour now on your foil, obviously you'd be a bit stuck at cleaning it up um, without potentially removing the foil by accident. So just be conscious of that. But the good thing about doing the foil areas first is that you don't need to mat top coat everywhere else to make sure that it, the foil doesn't stick because obviously it's the only place with gel on so it is easier doing it this way around but you could always paint the whole thing pink and then do the white bits after or you know whatever's best for you but i just find this to be the most sufficient for me personally so i'm going to pop this into the lamp now for a full cure i will do another coat of this pink color off camera and then we'll basically be finishing the design off so that's going into the lamp and then we're going to just do the sides of this one. So I'm going to quickly do this one now. So for the next step, I'm going to be using this Brillbird Glamour Gel. I've used these quite a lot in videos lately, actually. And this is number one. It's just a beautiful silver. So obviously our foil has silver in and I think this Glamour Gel matches that silver perfectly. So that is what I'm going to be using. So first things first, we're going to get my obviously nail out of the lamp this is the one that we're working on now I have separate um what's it called brushes to use the glamour gels because they are super super sparkly which is obviously a really good thing but not when you want to use a brush that hasn't got any glitter and you can't get it out properly so I'm just going to get the brush that I always use to work with them and then I'm just going to make sure I've got enough on my brush but not a ridiculous amount because it is so easy to pick up too much of these and then we're basically just going to create a line of this glitter between those two like colours. Just like that. And it blends so well. This silver is a fab match to the silver that is in the foil. So we're just outlining it basically. Super, super simple. And then once I've done that and I'm happy with the lines, I will then pop it into the lamp. I think we need a little bit more up there. There we go, that's better. So that's that one. We're just going to pop that into the lamp for a full cure of 60 seconds. And then while that one is in the lamp, we can do this one. So exact same thing, literally just outlining absolutely love these glamour gels they are so so sparkly and they just finish everything off beautifully so i'm just making sure that's how i want it and i almost like the glamour gels because the lines you create with them are not like absolutely perfect because the product is more like um obviously like just in case you don't have any you're not sure what they're like they're more like flakes in gel um, instead of actual glitter which I really like because it gives it sort of like an edgy look instead of like the perfect line I think it looks really effective so once I'm happy 
with where that is which i am i'm gonna pop that into the lamp for a full cure as well and then i'm just gonna leave those in there for a full minute and then once they are done i will take them out and top coat them and show you how they turned out so here is the finished look i really love how they turned out i think they're really cute and i absolutely love this foil it is just beautiful so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so so much for watching and i'll be back soon with another one bye